All right, here we go. The last gold medal match for the men for this 2019 Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championship. So give them all you got. Let's hear it for these two gentlemen out here. Good luck. Tyson defeat him in the two out of three. We will go to a one game, 15 point playoff to determine. Back live at the Number USA Pickleball Number National Championship sponsored by Margaritaville. Men's singles pro finals. Ben Johns serving right, the Tyson McGuffin. Mark Rennison and Noah Saraban here. Zero zero. zero, zero. Nicely done there by Tyson. If you have not watched much singles throughout the day, you will see it's a little bit different than doubles, although these two players somehow are able to create double strategy in singles, coming up to the line and playing a little cat and mouse dinking games. Both so good and so athletic with their side to side movement, making it very difficult to hit great passing shots by them as Ben Johns rolls that backhand there for a winner. This is a really great opportunity if you're watching on Facebook to share it with your friends. Let people see what amazing pickleball looks like and what you're watching. And uh, Noah and I, we're here for you. So if you'd like to chat with us, put a little comment in that comment section. If you've got a question or you just want to tell us where you're watching from, what you're enjoying seeing, uh, when you have booked your tickets to come here for next year if you haven't been here yet. And uh, yeah, we'd love to give you a little shout out on here if, if we can, if we don't get overwhelmed, Noah. Try not to. One, One zero. Ball trickles over. Tyson's happy to get help from that at that time. It's. What do you think, Noah? When, when the ball touches the net, on a pass or something like that, do you think it more often helps the person that the ball is being hit at, or hurts the person that it's being hit at? I think it depends on how it hits the net. If I know, but what do you think? Like fifty fit, like. What percentage of all the times that a ball gets hit, that it hits the net, and like goes over somehow? I, I'm going to say 50-50 just based on the way I've played and what I've received. I've been on both ends of that where the ball slows down and it gives me more time. And then when it hits the net and pops right over my paddle and they win points. So I'm going to go with 50-50, Mark. Okay. That's a nice safe bet. <laughs> Right now, Tyson McGuffin, it's a safe bet that he's going to hit the serve pretty hard. He likes to get the short ball that he can pounce on. And he'll often use this sort of combination where he drives the ball down the line to the backhand and quickly move forward looking for something high to jump on. The trouble is, Noah, is that Ben Johns is not just some regular guy. When he receives that drive on the backhand side, unlike players who pop that ball up, more often, Ben is able to keep the ball low and out of harm's way. So it'll be interesting seeing these two styles, the defensive volley style of Ben versus the offensive uh, attacking style of Tyson, how they match up here in this gold medal championship. Fake there by Ben. Nice point. Mm, Tyson electing to drive the ball off his backhand. Tough to execute, especially with Ben Johns at the net. Leads to a side out. Nicely done. Ben so good at disguising where he's going to play those little flicks. We had a question here from Nicola Mejes. That last name. How tall is Tyson? Okay, here, I'll tell you what, I don't, I don't know what the official stats are, but no, I'm going to think of a height, you think of a height, and at the same time we'll say it and we'll see if we're right. Sounds good. Okay, you got, are you ready? One, two, three. Five, five eleven. Ten. Shoot. Five eleven. I was actually going to... Tyson McGuffin is exactly... Five ten and a half. Five ten and a half. <laughs> I was actually initially going to say five eleven, and then I dropped it down to five ten, but right, I'll, right. Go, I'll go with five eleven. Sounds about right. Uh, ben John, since we're on height, is taller. Uh, he's over six feet. And six I, one, maybe? I feel like he's still growing. <laughs> Seriously, I feel like every time I see Ben, he's taller. There's an example of the net not helping the hitter. 50-50. Yeah, it helped one guy and hurt the other. 50-50. <laughs> 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 
I meant that earlier than oh, that helped okay. Tyson okay, this yeah, time okay, did okay, not okay, help gotcha, him. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Math is tricky. Nice little forehand roller. Ball's called out by the line judge there. Well, check tough, to, the tough to challenge a line judge when they're sitting right on the line. No. Byron not with the best angle. Once again, Ben Johns out to an early lead against McGuffin. We saw this. He does not want this to go to a game to 15. That's for sure. No. These players are playing for money, Mark. There's a... Uh, a nice little purse on the line for their singles pro division here. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up, but um, do you happen to remember? I know uh, with the women and the men in the doubles, it was 5,000, 3,000, 2,000. Yep. I think it's halved. It's it's uh, 25. Ooh, a little ankle breaker there. I hope Tyson's okay. Seems to be fine. Gets up. I believe it's 2,500 for first place, Mark. Okay. There we go. 2,500. Tyson setting up as though he's going to hit a hard. Ben's got to guess where it's going. He's played Mr. McGuffin enough times to know he likes that little forehand down the line. That's going to be tricky. Oh, what a point. And as we look at the replay powered by Selkirk, you see the effort put in here. That side spin is really what allowed that ball to get out past the post so that Ben Johns could get around and could hit that ball between the post and referee Byron Fresno. And with that first time out, we'll go to a quick break. Mark and Noah live at Nationals back in a minute. It is not the critic who counts, not the one who points out how the strong stumbles. The credit belongs to the one who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who at the best, knows in the end the triumph of high achievement. If he fails, at least fails while daring great, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. We are back live at Nationals. Mark Renison, Noah Saraban. And Five, after Five, zero. Byron is calling the score, Tyson doesn't even have his paddle in his hand yet. Technically, Byron could serve. Ben could serve. No. What? Okay. Well, what happened there? What happened there is that the score was called, and I think you only have 10 seconds to serve the ball, and Ben asked if the score had been called and wasn't sure how much time you had left to serve. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Ben really wanted to serve that. He's a pretty straight shooter, and Tyson wasn't ready. Um, but the score had been called, and with only 10 seconds between when it's called and when you hit Zero that six. ball, Ben also didn't want a fault to be called against him. So he did serve it, but he just put it in there pretty gently so Tyson could kind of get himself ready. He was ready for that forehand pass up the line. Just got a quick, um, quick note here. Looks like Lucy Kovalova beat Michelle Esquivel. Wow, I, th I think that went to three games, didn't it? It did. 11 so. to 8, 11, 11, 9. So Michelle takes bronze at Nationals. That's a great result. And that means Lucy's going to be coming up here after this match to take on Simone Jardim for gold. Meanwhile, Ben Johns with a comfortable lead to start game one here. 6 1 after that beautiful backhand volley cross court that he just hit. Quick side out here. Tyson is happy about that. Not too much about the score though. 1 6. Let ball. 1 6. Tyson's so good at that forehand drop on the cross court. A lot of top spin helps the ball get up and over the net as you watch the replay powered by Selkirk. As that ball gets down, and then we talked a little bit earlier about. Um, when you hit that drop with topspin, it's much more susceptible to being popped up afterwards. Where you can then pounce like a Side out. panther? Cougar? Puma? Praying mantis? Do they pounce? Six, two. I don't know. I'm not an expert in the <laughs> praying mantis department. 
That is an expert backhand volley sliced deep to the backhand of Ben Johns. Ben is trying to find a way to get out of trouble here. He's going to need a drop that's lower than that. Can't come up with it, and Tyson gets another setup. Two Fans six. are into it early in game one here at the Indian Wells Tennis Garden. What a venue. It's pretty nice here. If you did not make it this year, make sure you put it on your calendar for next year. It is very impressive what they are doing for pickleball. I have been here during the BNP Paribas tennis tournament in March, and I can tell you this feels like a professional tennis tournament being put on here for pickleball. They do a great job. Every court has plenty of room, individual courts. 49 courts here this year, including a grand center court with grandstands and perfect lighting throughout every evening. Ball is called out. Point. Quick reminder that we're here in Indian Wells. Seven, two. And the city of Indian Wells has a really neat golf resort where you can golf at night. It's at the Indian Wells Golf Resort. And you can go check it out. No! Check out that backhand. Nicely played, low and slow, out of the reach of Mr. McGuffin. Unbelievable. Ben is able to get to balls and just go cross-court on them when most people would go down the line, which is what Tyson had anticipated on that shot, but Ben able to just roll it back across the court on his backhand side for a winner. 9-2 Nine -two. Nine -two here, game one. Fifty-fifty. Nice lob there by Tyson. Now, we saw earlier where Ben Johns would jump up high and hit that backhand overhead. Do you think in that case him letting the ball bounce, was that because he had no choice and he had to let the ball bounce? Or do you think he decided that that was the best play and why might he have done that? I think he may have thought the ball may go out. The lob was very close to the baseline. So he elected to let it bounce, hoping it would be out. But... Nice and hit that precision lob there. Mm. Look how he goes forward there. So I know if I was playing pickleball, if I managed to some, I mean, very hypothetical. If I managed to somehow get that overhead back and put it up kind of high, I would not be running forward to that ball. I'd be running back to defend. But Tyson, so aggressive out there on the pickleball court that even in that situation, you see him go forward and that pressure on Johns made him miss. And right now, Johns has the pressure on McGuffin as he serves here, gets ready to serve after quickly going to the towel at talked earlier about and Tyson calling his own ball out around the post it was short did not make it back to the court the line judge didn't call it but Tyson stopped play there good sportsmanship even though it puts him in a hole at 10-3 in game point timeout is called all right while those players take a quick timeout we're going to tell you about a couple other things that you might want to know about when you hear We Are Pickleball, you think of Selkirk Sport, and Selkirk works hard to produce the high-performance paddles and accessories with the latest technology. Their main mission is to fuel the pickleball obsession found inside every single player. It is a family-owned company, the business of Mike, Rob, and Jim Barnes. Two brothers and a father who embarked on a journey to become the market leader in pickleball paddle innovation and technology. The rest is history. Fins up, paddles up. Head has just launched its new performance line of Margaritaville paddles. Check out the new Chill, Growing Older But Not Up, Sunset, and Fins Up paddles. Each provide different playing characteristics so you can find maximum performance in a fun design that fits your very own game, Noah. I know you got a unique game style. I bet you you can find a Fins Up paddle up paddle for you from Head. 
I would if I could, Mark. <laughs> I would if I could. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ten, Ben three. Johns could win game number one. Wow, that is a big serve. He's got game point here, 10-3. Oh, Ben Johns going for the Ernie and singles, which you don't see every day. Anticipating Tyson's down the line dink, but just came up a little short on that one. 310. What can Tyson do here, Mark, to give himself a little momentum at least going into game two? I mean he can get that ball to land in. Look, he I mean he knows. In that case, I don't think it's the wrong shot, right? You know, I, he wasn't trying to win with that shot, uh, but he was trying to set up an opportunity. Meanwhile, opportunity to win the game again, 10-3, Ben Johns. Whoa, that is a tough angle from Tyson. Ben almost had it. Yep, we've got uh, another man who knows his way around a singles pickleball court, Eric Lang, watching. We really enjoyed watching Eric playing in some of the events earlier this week. Nice performance in the pro double side. Also in the singles today. With a fellow, Can fellow Canadian, yep. Steve Deacon. Correct. Speaking of Canadians, Philip Bedard is watching. Philip Bedard did the para pickleball demo earlier this week at the start of the tournament. Loved that. Another match uh, game point, I should say, for Ben Johns. And Tyson not giving up on this game. He would love to get a few points together. To at least get closer in this game and possibly carry over to game two if he were to lose this first game. You know who else is watching? This is back to back to back. Catherine Peronto, Kyle Yates, Joey Farias. Bonjour Catherine. Boom, boom, boom. We got the pros in the house. Right now that's a professional level return of serve from Ben Johns. A lot of backspin on it. But as Tyson reaches across to get that high ball, slides his way. 4-10, still some work to do Four ten. to get back into this first game. All done there. Oh, that sails out. He had what he wanted. That little forehand cross-court roller set up the pop-up from Ben, but Tyson could not finish. 10-4, game ten point. Four. That ball just a little bit wide. A line judge on it. Speaking of, uh, oh, looks like Tyson was checking with Byron to make sure he saw it the same way. Again, that was in his favor. Gotta make sure everything's fair out there. Great sportsmanship by Tyson. He had the point one mm, based on the line there. judge and questioned their call to see if it was actually his point. It's another side out. Speaking of pickleball legends, Jennifer Lucor, she's watching on the stream. Happy to have her. Oh, look, there's Simone. Simone <laughs> Jardine. Game point number five for Ben Johns. Spoke to Simone a little while ago. She is ready for her finals. It'll be coming up after this against Lucy Kovalova, who took down Michelle Esquivel in three. And again, we see the side out from Tyson. Ball catches the line. 50-50. All right. That is a well-needed point for McGuffin. Pretty tough. Noah Saraban to keep getting those side outs but not able to put one on the board. And sometimes you'll see that against these great players. As you, you get the ball back, you do all the work, you have the serve, and you just don't put points on the board because they're so good at defending and in singles serving is the disadvantage just like in doubles as Tyson McGuffin on the receiving end of a net cord this time did not go in his favor I think it's 50-50 so far two the have gone the net shall giveth and the net shall taketh away 10-5 <laughs> Ben Johns with his sixth game point here way to keep track of those Mark Tyson is not giving up. Don't underestimate the heart of a champion. Five ten. Tyson McGuffin serving. He'd love to get a free point here, but Ben Johns is unlikely to give it to him. He makes you work. 
Tyson going to that change-up serve. That ball's just out. Tyson feels all of a sudden like maybe there's something here. Six, let's, see if, ten. let's see if he goes back to that uh, lob serve there. Six, Changing ten. it up on Ben a little bit. Nope. Good call. <laughs> but he does go back to that pattern we've seen again, that drive down the line, anticipating the cross-court volley, and Ben Johns is going to stop the momentum here. He's going to take a timeout. We're going to stay with it for a minute. Look at these fans, Mark. Look at this. We've got little Tyson McGuffin faces okay. in the crowd. Oh, there's some keeners out here. You know who else is keen? Some of the great sponsors that we've had here all tournament long. Let me tell you about some of them. Mueller. They've been here. Damn. They've been providing ice on every single court here all tournament long. Little ice packs out there inside, some coolers, so that uh, if you get a bump or a bruise or something, you uh, can deal with it. So... Mueller Sports Medicine, they've been great. Paddle Tech, we've seen a lot of Paddle Tech out here. Lee and Annalie Waters out there, they are showing off some of the new colors, the new look, the, the new, new technology. Era. It is a new era for Paddle Tech. <laughs> and right now, Tyson McGuffin getting some encouragement. But this is what we were talking about, Mark, right? If he can get a few points together, even if he doesn't win the game, you've got to think it'll give him some confidence going into game two. So, of course, he would love to get back to 10-10 here. Not easy to do against Ben Johns. Side out. Ten. Quick towel break. Ten seven. 10-7, this is our seventh match uh, game point for Ben Johns. Gotta wonder whether he can close it out here. Tyson's not gonna make it easy for him. Oh, and there it is. With that down the line forehand, able to take game one. All right, well with that, game number one goes to Ben Johns. They're gonna go to their towels they're going to go to their coaches and we're going to go to a quick timeout we're going to be back in a second more live at nationals margaritaville it's not just a state of mind now it's a place to live Introducing Latitude Margaritaville. New homes in 55 and better communities where you can live the Margaritaville lifestyle every day. Find your new home at LatitudeMargaritaville.com. We are back live at Nationals. Mark Renison and Noah Saraban here on Championship Court. The players have switched sides after Ben Johns took game number one, 11 7. Tyson McGuffin now serving. The ball is called in by the line judge. I'm not going to say that's the most authoritative call I've ever seen from a lineswoman. I thought it was good. I thought the ball was in. Yeah, so did Byron Frezzo. And, I mean, your opinion matters, Noah, but <laughs> Byron's at the Hardly. end of the day. Byron's at the end of the day is what uh, is going to determine what happens next. And, ooh, that is a difficult dig from Tyson. And may have caught the edge of the paddle there. Unable to get it back over the net for a side out. Zero one. Mm, great Point. passing drive there by Ben Johns. Yeah, that's a sign that the return of serve was a little too short, a little too high. Ben's one, able to one. take away Tyson's time to react, which is exactly what you want when you're driving the ball. He also hit that right on the line, making it uh, hard to get on a volley. I think it's going to be important here, Noah. We've seen so far when Tyson gets in a hole early, he's been able to get close again, but not, uh, but not win. We saw that both in game number one and uh, prior match that these two played. And so it's going to be important, I think, for McGuffin to stay close. He doesn't have to be in the lead, but to at least stay close here as we move through game number two so that when he does make that surge if and when he makes that surge, um, he's able to be on the right side of the score. 
As we see another let cord, this time going against Tyson McGuffin. Fortunately, it wasn't for a point, just a side out. 1-1. One, one. Oh. Like, yeah, that's he's got to make that. And if he doesn't make that, then Ben is going to get his lead, and it's going to be so tough against Ben Johns. Bold move there, bringing Ben Johns up to the net with that drop shot, but it paid off. Yeah, ben got there, he's quick, and I, it's a really sort of pro-level response to it. Uh, very often when players are on the run and stretching, they'll hit that ball hard. Ben knew if he did that, the volley would either be put away by McGuffin or hit right at Ben, who is still in the kitchen. So he just plays a little dink, buys himself some time to back up, limits McGuffin's ability to attack, and that's how you do it when you're a professional pickleball player. And there we saw Tyson run around his forehand in order to hit it, but exposing the rest of the court for Ben to take over. It's so hard to do with these players. Another drop shot bringing Ben in. Oh, he this time ran. unsuccessfully. Yeah, I mean, what do you think, Mark? It's tough to decide whether to keep the player back or bring him up to the line, but Ben Johns is so good up at the kitchen line that I'm not sure that's what you really want in this case. I know. The trouble is that he's also so good at playing those drops and getting up there. And so, you know, it's, the argument I would make is like, hey, at least if you keep him back and let him play that drop like we see right... Oh, very good. Um, then he's coming up kind of on his own terms, right? Whereas when you play the, like, let's say a drop volley yourself, or a little very short dink, you're bringing him up when you choose to. And so, I, I mean, ne neither of them is a really terrific solution against a player like Johns. Um, and I like it, maybe trying to mix things up a little bit too from game one. We didn't see much of that from Tyson, so trying to change something when you're down a game, not a bad idea. Might see a quick timeout by Tyson if he goes down 4-1. Nope, he's going to keep playing here. Four, one. Danger zone here for Tyson. Oh, he's down 5-1. Here's the timeout, as predicted. Okay, well, we go to a timeout. I'll tell you about a couple more things now. To play like a pro. You need to dress like one. I think I know where this is going. You gotta, drop, you gotta dress like one. Be sure to stop by the Fila Pickleball store between matches for an exclusive look. A first look at the Volley Zone, which is Fila's performance pickleball shoe. I've been wearing it all week long. My feet are performing like... Never before. Yeah. yeah. Like, a, like a sports car. Finely tuned machine. Yeah. Yeah. So be sure to head over to the Fila Pickleball store between matches. You can take a look at those shoes. Not exactly those shoes, because those are on my feet. But you can check out their great uh, new pickleball shoes. And they are also the official apparel sponsor of the 2019 Margaretville USA Pickleball National Championships. Nice clothes all around. Nice shoes, too. Ben Johns has a nice lead. Let's see, uh, every once in a while we get that sound. I don't know what it is. Sounds like someone playing drums badly. 5-1 <laughs> is the score, and after winning game number one, Ben Johns is getting close to striking distance here of winning this gold medal men's pro singles match. And John's just doing a great job of anticipating where Tyson's going to place the ball. Pounces on that forehand down the line for a point. 6-1. And good job by Tyson there going back behind Ben. As we see on the replay, powered by Selkirk. Let's see if Tyson can put a few points together here to get back into this game. 1-6.
that's quick the side kind of, out. Yeah, that's the kind of ball. If I mean, we talked about that hole. Look, it's it's. I mean, believe me, I would be in a hole if I was playing against Ben too, right? Six and so, four. it's so tough. But Ben plays so well when he's in front. He's so calm out there, and that. You just feel like when he's got that lead, he is so Are you kidding me? It. Tyson goes for the Ernie on the backhand side, goes cross-court with that ball. Ben able to get to it, hits the net, and wins the point. Unbelievable. 7-1. Seven, one. Seven, one. Ben wins the point after point. sliding on the court there. Hopefully he's okay. Tyson cannot be happy with the way game two is taking place here. A quick 9-1 start to this game two, Mark. Sometimes it is just not your day and things going against Tyson today. And mostly what's against him is Ben John serving 9-1. Make it 10-1. And with that, we have our first championship point. Ben Johns. Ready to finish this, pumping himself up. This is for the gold medal here, folks. McGuffin's going to make him earn it the hard way. He gets the side out, and Tyson is in a hole. A risky shot by Tyson there with that backhand Ernie. Had Ben gotten that one over the net, it would have been trouble. Turn is out. Quick point for Tyson. He's going to need a few of those. 210. Tyson McGuffin serving, trying to close the gap here. This men's gold medal final. Look how far he's running to hit that forehand. Risky business to put yourself in that corner. Doing a good job fighting off Ben. Taking over the net. And winning that point, well done by Tyson there. There we go. Trying to get the crowd behind him. Crowd happy to bring a little life behind McGuffin, expecting, hoping this would go three game. Tyson McGuffin serving left side. Usually goes out wide to the backhand, but Ben loves that little slice return. Got to think in that case, Noah, the ball was so far away, Tyson might have done better to cross over there. Could have been a little more explosive, but right now we've got another championship point here for Ben Johns. Ooh. There's the Ernie. It's called out. And with that, we've got the championship. Tough to lose on a ball like that, which I'm sure Tyson thought was in. But congratulations to Ben Johns, flying out after taking his midterm exams, winning both men's doubles open and now singles pro division today on Sunday. Ben Johns, really impressive today. He took care of the slippery shots, the tricks that Tyson McGuffin always has up his sleeves. He's going to get the gold medal in the first place. McGuffin gets National the silver. National champion. National champion.